Hi friends, let's talk about a very common surgical condition that is appendicitis in this short video. The usual clinical presentation of appendicitis is, is a patient presents with anorexia, nausea and vomiting, pain in the periumbilical region which later on migrates to the right lower abdomen and mild to moderate fever. These are usually the four symptoms which we commonly look. And then we have signs. In the, among the signs, we have right lower tenderness, rebound tenderness, rousing sign. So these are the signs which, look, which we look for in the appendicitis usually. And in the investigation, what we look for is leukocytosis. If uh, there is a need for, we go for an ultrasound or CT scan and we may find features of inflammation in the right lower abdomen around the appendix. There is a score that is known as Alvarado score. So what is this Alvarado score? Let us have a look at this. Mr. Alvarado, he devised a scoring system. And if in this scoring system, what you take is three symptoms, three signs and two investigations. But the total marks is the total grading comes from 0 to 10 because two marks are assigned to one important symptom that is right lower abdomen tenderness. So for that you assign two marks and among the among the laboratory investigation leukocytosis gets two marks and rest all gets one mark. So what are those uh, what are the parameters for the Alvarado score is three symptoms. Three symptoms are migratory right lower abdomen pain nausea vomiting and anorexia coming to the signs we have right iliac fossa tenderness which is having two marks and then elevation of temperature and rebound tenderness in the right iliac fossa coming to the laboratory we have leukocytosis which will get two marks and neutrophil shift to the left this will get one mark so you get a total score 0 to 10 and then if you get a score if it is 0 to 4 it is not likely to be appendicitis if it is 5 to 6, it is considered equivocal and you need to further investigate. 7 to 8 is possible probable appendicitis and 9 to 10 is highly suggestive of appendicitis. So this is all about the Alvarado score. Now, if you come across a patient of appendicitis, what is the management? If it is an uncomplicated appendicitis, the management is surgery as soon as possible and the name of the surgery is appendectomy. It can be done laparoscopically or open surgery whatever depending on the expertise and depending on the hospital setup if the patient presents to you with appendicular perforation peritonitis then our management is slightly changed in the way that because of the perforation you may find a lot of a uh, lot of dirty fluid inside the peritoneal cavity so lavage is a very important part so what you need to do is you either open or laparoscopic or laparoscopically you have to do a proper lavage of the abdomen and if if needs arise you put a drain and come out now there is an interesting condition that you may come across a patient who had an attack of appendicitis few days back and now he presents with a lump so on examination if you find a lump what is the management the management is not appendectomy the management is conservative okay why this lump forms this lump forms because we have a policeman in the abdomen and that is known as omentum. So what happens is to contain the inflammation, to contain the infection, the omentum wraps around the appendix and there is a lump formation. The lump is formed by appendix, cecum, ileum and the omentum. So actually uh, the anatomy is not clear. That is why surgery is not advised because if you do try to do the surgery in this phase, the chances are that you cause more harm to the patient harm in the form of you may injure the small bowel you may injure the large bowel you may cause the bleeding that is why surgery is not advised and we go for a conservative management and the name of that conservative management is oshner sharon regime what is this oshner sharon regime oshner sharon regime is you keep the patient nil by mouth iv fluid iv antibiotics okay and then you monitor the patients if the patient is uh, most of the times the patient will uh, will behave will respond to this treatment and you discharge the patient and you ask the patient to come after six to eight weeks to remove the appendix and that is known as interval appendectomy if the patient in in, in if the patient deteriorates in between then you have to take the patient for surgery conservative management does not mean with that you don't do surgery if the patient responds you don't do the surgery if the patient does not respond to conservative management if the patient develops frank peritonitis then obviously you have to operate the patient now there is a third scenario that some of sometimes you will come across a patient who is presents to you with appendicular abscess so what is the management in that if if somebody has an appendicular abscess 
our management is CT guided or ultrasound guided drainage. You put a drain tube and keep it, uh, keep it connected to your Euro bag, so the all the pus will come outside. And then you do the interval appendectomy after six to eight weeks because at the time of an abscess, again, it is so friable that it is very difficult to do an append appendectomy and it is not advisable to do an appendectomy at the time somebody is having an appendicular abscess. Very rarely, sometimes you, can, you may come across a patient who is having an appendicular tumor, which is usually found in old age group. The appendicular tumors, the common tumors are carcinoid tumor and adenocarcinoma, which we will later on discuss in some other video. If you like this video, just please like this video if you want, if you like the content. Otherwise, just let me know what can I do to improve this video. Thank you very much.